Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your urgent career read. This is really time sensitive, so we're gonna get it out. I'm gonna do uh, two, three card spreads for you. So do check out your North Node as well as your uh, Moon Rising, uh, and of course your Sun sign here, okay? Uh, now, if you are looking for uh, even more for the next, uh, even more information on your career, money, or finance, you're gonna see that right at the end of this video, as well as love or a general monthly read okay all right guys let's take a look and see what's going on for you here so let's take a look first at what your money mindset is who can help and then what you need to focus in on all right so let's jump into that uh, this is hot guys I was feeling the urge something kept pushing me and this is gonna be timeless so just take it you know I I've mentioned on sometimes it's three months but just take it's timeless but it's really hot right now okay so whatever you get this, it's going to be best for you. All right. So let's take a look at what is going on for Capricorn. What do we got here? Okay. Whoa. Okay. And let's see here. Wow. Okay. And then what you need to focus in on. What's at the bottom of the deck? Okay. So what do we have here? Is this the ah, King of Wands? Actually, this is a really good card to have at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Now this is calling upon all that passionate energy. This is looking out into the universe, uh, you know, fire energy of Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this is a visionary entrepreneur. And I don't know if Capricorn that you're visualizing, uh, you know, how you want your world to look like, uh, you're really focused in on perhaps on manifesting there's growth up here. So perhaps you're manifesting at night. Uh, maybe you're looking at the stars at night, sitting out in a chair out, you know, maybe in your backyard or somewhere outside. But I feel that you're really manifesting and, and really passionate about something that you want to do, okay? And I don't know what that is quite yet. It could be something you're already in or something else. But let's let's just uh, take a look and see what's going on. Now, your money mindset, that's the underlying energy. Now, your money mindset, what we get right here is a page of cups. There could be some sort of message that's going to be coming to you. Or there could be some sort of opportunity. Uh, or maybe that you're listening, uh, you know, uh, you, maybe you're just getting some sort of message. Now, this could be from a student or someone that is younger than you. Um, but what I get about the pages, especially about the cups, is this is about some sort of uh, synchronicity. There is something that is um, uh, some sort of creative endeavor, okay? It could be someone that is younger than you that's kind of uh, made you excited about this. Or maybe someone is how emotionally helping you set your mindset a little bit better. Uh, but there's a message coming through about your mindset. Okay, let's take a look. And maybe it's from someone younger that puts you in a different mindset. Wow, you've got it. This is about having a decision. Uh, this is the two of swords. Um, so this is making a decision, making a decision in terms of money. Uh, okay, that's coming through. Uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. And then what do we get here? Uh, we get the five of cups, something that didn't work out. What is this? Something that didn't work out. Uh, and there's a decision that you made that didn't work out so hot and it had to do with some sort of endeavor. Uh, is what I'm getting or it's some sort of message that came through that you're hearing where you had to make a decision regarding money and you were a little disappointed in it. Uh, this is, um, I get a lot of water energy. So it has a lot to do with emotions. Emotions uh, are dealing with the mind, okay? Uh, especially in the money mindset. So something has left you a little, uh, something's a little unsavory, but hold up, hold up. Let's take a look. What is numerology? have to say because you're looking at what didn't work and you're not looking at the growth of the rose behind him right it's like this darkness that is focused in on this is the way it's going to be uh forget the rose this is the way it's going to be but you had two cups in a rose Ah, huh? sounds like a nice little invitation here, <laughs> right? And this is about an invitation to change a mindset or a way of thinking. Um, and this is, uh, uh, you know, changing that. Let's see what numerology has to say for you here, okay? All right, let's check it out. What do we get? Communication, yes. I knew there was some sort of form of communication that is coming through. Now, this could be that it is important to state what's on your mind, okay? So for some of you, it's going to be important to state what's on your mind. It's a 33 card reducing to a 6. And that is about, uh, you know, the sixes are about birthing something new. It could be a different way that you're going to communicate. But it, it, but it is talking about an opportunity. It's kind of like the solar plexus chakra energy. But it is about uh, speaking your truth. Uh, instead of keeping it to yourself and maybe in fear of judgment of any sort, this is saying is that by doing so, you're going to release a more healthy body, mind, and um, 
finances. <laughs> I will tell you that it's it, because, because something's not being said. Okay. There's something that's not being said that needs to be said that, you know, it, it's about your, your, this is about expressing yourself. Okay. Now this could be like, even if you have to sing or dance or, you know, uh, I don't know, speaking, writing, you know, whatever way that you want to put your thoughts out there, uh, your message is intended, uh, is intended to, to inspire those around you. And it's important that you uh, raise your own vibration, and uh, uh, which raises the vibration in the world, which brings more, more a lot more prosperity. So this was quite interesting because I was really uh, your money mindset is, is about changing that, right? It might have to do with uh, it's I get the ten of cups might have to do with a partner, okay? So maybe your money mindset is affected by a partner around you, um, but this is saying the ten of cups is coming through here. I just pulled one more card and I got the ten of cups. I think you're going to be okay. <laughs> okay. The money mindset's going to change and it's about coming together, uh, in harmony. Right. And so this could be coming, you know, out in terms of a different, uh, mindset, uh, a different way of thinking. What do the wellness cards have to say for you right here? Uh, real quick. What do we get? Yeah. It's a paradigm shift. This is good. Yeah. I, you can feel that there was a shift kind of moving forward in there. And so what this is talking about is that there's new experiences that are being integrated in the, the way that you think about money and, uh, there, it, which allows a lot of growth and expansion and brings forth a new cycle. So for some of you, that is the case that's coming through here. Now who can help you? I do get an Aquarius. Wow. Uh, someone around you might be an Aquarius. There could be, uh, you know, uh, someone around you, uh, taking on this energy, or this could be that, uh, you might be taking on this energy and healing, um, focusing on your true North, the North stars in front of, you know, above her head. And then the, uh, you know, kind of the, the other stars around, uh, but she is really focusing on her strength. Uh, she's focusing on her healing and her beauty. Hold on a second, guys. Hold up. Hold up. This is, um, this is like, this is to me, this is, no, this is the, yeah, this is Aquarius energy. North star is a brother. Okay, good. So that's what I'm feeling. Wow. So what you, who can help? There could be someone around you, someone that is perhaps younger, someone who's fair skinned, maybe someone younger is, is going to be able to help you in terms of some sort of communication. Cause it's a three card reducing to a, you know, three card that is, is talking about communication. Let me pull another card on this. I'm just curious. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we get, uh, someone that's independent, someone that is made, uh, an opportunity for themselves and doing well. I get the nine of pentacles. They could be single. Uh, they could love nature. Uh, this is a single independent woman. There's someone around you. There's someone around you that can help you here. Okay. And, uh, and help you move forward. So if that sounds like anyone guys, a uh, single independent, it's going to come to fruition is what I feel. This person can help in terms of communication coming through. What does numerology have to say? Let's take a look at what that is. Yeah, nature. Well, we, we mentioned that, right? So this is about getting out in nature and getting a different perspective that's going to really help you stay connected to source, uh, whatever that is for you. Um, yeah, it, and, and it's this reduces to an 11. If this has to do with the 11 house, it has to do with global awareness. So maybe there's something you want to do that affects global awareness in humanity, and this is a person to go to, okay? So there we have it. Now, what is it that you need to focus in on? What do we get? Five of Swords. This is about winning at all costs, right? Uh, you know, it, you know, it's you still come out like some sort of victor. This is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but someone just drops the sword and then and then leaves, right? And is bowing down. So this is saying is that uh, you know at what cost was it to win this? Because it's about some sort of adversity in a situation. So what you need to focus in on is um, is is is. There's a vibe here that's not, that's just kind of, um, a little unsavory a little bit, but there, but let's just pull another card on this and let's see. Okay. Cause fives are about some sort of adversity. Uh, like there, there was a conflict of some sort, uh, and then someone came, became the winner and then what do we get? And then I get the, uh, ace of pentacles. You know, there's a new opportunity. Okay. So, you know, what to focus on is that whatever competition there was or whatever situation where someone was feeling little than the smaller than the other, or you, or someone made another one, or you can't make another one, someone do anything, but, or feel any way. But if this is about winning at all costs, there is a new opportunity to shift that, right? This is a new opportunity from the universe. 
that's dropping down for you to grab and create change. This is about manifestation and prosperity. So there is a potential for a new manifestation and prosperity in the, the situation. So what you need to focus in on is whatever that wasn't working in the past that just you had to be cut out. This is an opportunity for manifestation and prosperity to come through. Whoa. Okay, let's take a look what you need to focus in on. Yeah, don't focus in on being left out. Uh, this is saying create change. Now, you could have been the one winning or the one left out. Whatever this case may be, this is about feeling left out. Um, this is saying there's a new opportunity for prosperity and abundance that's coming through. So this is what you need to focus in on, all right? What does numerology have to say about that? What do we get? In terms of your finances, make the effort. Make the effort to create change and bring forth a brand new manifestation. So it could be you could be communicating with someone, uh, perhaps, uh, to create change. Uh, and uh, the, the effort's going to be, a, be make it really grounded and, and make you feel a lot more confident. It's going to really help the situation. What do the uh, moon cards have to say for you in overall advice? Before jumping to the next spread, next three card spread, what do we got? Uh, what do we get? I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. So this is what you're getting, okay? Wow, so make the effort, all right? So you, what you need to focus in on is making the effort to take this opportunity that's coming your way that maybe was unsavory and shift it and turn it around, okay? This is what's coming through Capricorn. So let's go ahead and put this aside. Let's go ahead and jump on the uh, other spread. And let's take a look at what it is that is your financial challenge, what is your financial strength, and then, of course, uh, where you're going to find your abundance, all right? So let's take a look at what that is. Uh, what do we have? Financial challenge. Whoa, okay. It's, okay, financial strength and abundance. Whoa, okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Teamwork and collaboration. Three, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is all about teamwork and collaboration. So keep that in mind that that's going to be necessary, okay? So what do we get here? Your financial challenge is, uh, this is about emotions, like being calm in the situation. Be calm, intuitive, and uh, in the situation regarding your finances. So this is kind of like a challenge for you at this moment. So interesting, interesting. Let's take a look. Um, anything else that might want to come through? Let's take a look. What do we have? Uh, what do we get? And then we get uh, the Knight of Cups. So, uh, you know, you feel that maybe something has, um, the challenge is maybe something is, is gone dark. Like we feel that something has already passed its way, right? So something is already gone. Uh, some sort of opportunity uh, that was coming your way that made you emotionally happy has kind of turned around because I do get the Knight of, uh, of Knight of Cups. And, and, oh yeah, it's about making choices, okay? This is getting rid of the illusion of the opportunities that are available and, and then being able to choose the right one. So this is saying is that you've got a lot of choices, but it does want you to take out the veil of uh, imagination and fantasy and get down to a little bit more practicality, which is, I'm sure, easy for you. But this is saying is that um, you, may, you may have a lot of options and not sure which one to choose, uh, in terms of the uh, you know financial challenge, and that is, and you've seen one go, and you're, uh, and, and you've seen that kind of move out of its way. It's like you have too many options, and it's it's uh, it's leaving you a little bit unbalanced. What does numerology say? Yeah, manifestation. So manifest it. This is about manifesting what it is that you want. This could be you manifesting what it is that you want, but typically this talks about you know creating change. So maybe manifesting change in terms of your financial, uh, you know, situation to where you're, uh, uh, don't miss, you know, don't miss out on an opportunity, but remain calm in the process. Something's coming through for that, but manifestation, this is about, this is important to create some sort of change. Okay. Cause I feel that, that you're being urged, uh, to really focus on the law of attraction to attract what you want rather than track what you don't want. Okay. So there could be an opportunity that, I don't know. There could have been some opportunity that um, you didn't want that came through, but that you're you're just at a powerful manifestation point in this moment, and so this is what it wants you to really focus in on is that um, how to overcome your challenge. So 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 stay calm in this process. Um, but any other advice uh, that might want to come through? Let's take a look. What do we get? And what do we get here? What do we have? Yeah, this is about, um, what do we have here? The Knight of, of Wands, passion uh, 
and, and do something that you're passionate about. You know, whatever, when you feel that you are having a financial challenge, this is clearing your mindset, clearing your emotions and focus on what it is that you do want and the passions that you do have, the fire, you know, uh, behind you on. Okay. So you really keep focused in on that. I don't know if there's anything else that wants to come through. This is a little bit of a toughy one here. Yeah. Challenge there. Okay. There's a delay there. There's a delay because something needs to re revise. It says uh, there's been a blockage, so you need to revise something. Uh, you need to uh, uh, follow the signs, rethink, get guidance, and test before you level up. Okay, guys, we could be working on it at work, an endeavor, something of the sort, okay? But it does relate to your finances. Let's take a look at what is going to be your financial strength. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Eight of Wands. Everything's now moving in the same direction. See, it's kind of like after the challenge... Uh, accept the roadblock as a blessing because it's going to help you rethink something through. Um, but this is everything moving in the same direction. Like change is necessary for things to move in the same direction. So this is about an opportunity for travel. Uh, maybe you're going to be traveling, uh, change or movement. And, and this movement is what is going to bring, is, your, is a part of your financial strength. Okay. Anything else, Capricorn, what we get? Yeah. Even though there are some things that didn't work out, this is saying, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're contemplating, uh, and, uh, so you're contemplating on the four of cups and then what do I get? And then I get the uh, ace of cups. Whoa. This is, uh, you know, having compassion towards yourself. Uh, there is a potential opportunity. So there is a potential opportunity. Feed yourself in love. Um, there's an opportunity that's going to be coming your way. Uh, you kind of can kind of see her kind of in the fountain and oh my gosh, as she's focusing on abundance, something comes her way. Um, so this is saying uh, during this time, uh, really focus on creating change in your world. What does numerology have to say? Let's take a look. Love. Oh my gosh. Uh, love might uh, actually have to deal with your financial strength. So it could be that there is someone at a distance, a uh, Love is going to affect your finances in some way. It's a six. It's about a birthing of something new. Whoa. So some of you, it could be a connection, uh, a relationship that's going to affect your finances. Okay. And this is saying observe. Um, and uh, this is saying also enjoying time with friends and family and mastering your energetic vibration. Yeah. Your strength is to master your energetic vibration and focus in on love. Uh, love, uh, the, the love of, uh, um, an opportunity of money to give and receive. It's what's coming through here. Wow. Um, that's interesting. What is it that you, uh, is going to bring forth abundance? This is letting go of the heartbreak. This is letting go of any sort of heartbreak in a situation, right? Uh, letting go. It's a three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So what it wants you to do to find abundance, your emotions are affecting your finances. Okay, guys? This is what I'm getting, okay? So uh, maybe there was some sort of, uh, I get, give me another card on this, the three of, of, of swords. Then I get the, uh, the knight of swords. The knights are all about, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, this is about, uh, this is about not moving forward too hastily. All right. And what else? Ah, uh, after a tower moment that's come into play, something came down, something came down unexpectedly guys. And, but it's, but it is an opportunity for growth and, um, and what else is coming through here? Yeah. And then this gives, yeah, because it now lets you develop some sort of strategy to move forward. Where you're going to find your abundance is in strategy. This is, you're going to be able to uh, develop some sort of strategy. This is about making progress. You discovered something when something came down, okay? And something that affected your emotions, right? And maybe it was something that was acted too hastily on. Not sure. Gemini Libra Aquarius is coming through here. Uh, and, uh, but then I get Aries Leo Sagittarius, but then you're making progress. So you're going to make progress. It came down for a reason. So you can make progress. You know, there were things that were hidden. So, you know, Pisces energy. And, uh, I feel that there is an opportunity to balance things out. This is, uh, this is, a uh, uh, Libra energy. This is, uh, uh, balancing the scales out. Um, so this is calling upon justice. Okay. Justice will be served. Don't worry. Justice will be served. There is uh, clarity and transformation that comes from this. So I feel that everything's going to kind of work out. It's like where you're going to find your abundance is to allow things to, uh, you know, go through this process here 
and um, yeah, and focus on a, you know making progress and moving forward and uh, focusing on yeah, get Pisces energy that of which is hidden. You're gonna get justice through here. What is that? Leadership. It's asking you to step up. If you want to see change in terms of more abundant, step up in your leadership. Leadership is key. You're not supposed to be a follower. You're a leader. And it wants you to, it's coming to fruition, so it's going to happen. Some of you are going to get a step up into a leadership role in your work, okay, is what I get. Yeah, and I get follow your dreams. Gosh, you guys, this card's coming out a lot. Wow. <laughs> this is coming out a lot. This is amazing. Follow your dreams, step up, and take leadership of your finances because it's going to bring in abundance. This reduces to a four, which brings forth stability and security. And that's what fours are all about. But follow your dreams and take your leadership role. All right, anything that the Fortune uh, uh, deck has to say for you in closing? What do we got? Manifestations. We talked about that, that you're on fire on that. It says a, a bountiful time awaits you, your wishes, and your wishes. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, a, a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Whoa, you guys, this is fantastic. I'm going to leave it there. All right, lots of love and light, guys. Note your comments below. Smash that like button if this resonates. And until next time, namaste.